Oh, more you, on kind of the, you um, the hot burps right now. A little bit. Are they tasty? Oh, they're the best. They're your favorite. If I had hot burps all the time, I'd be so happy, man. <laughs> I just don't want to drink beer all the time. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be sober. Sometimes. I uh, hear it now, whatever. Yeah. Is what it is. So pour a glass of crap beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is Seek Satisfied Brewhead. I'm Scott Beer, Cole Beer Enthusiast. Damn right you are. Welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BOS. We have a fantastic array of beers today. We man. have been blessed. It's a Vermont type of afternoon. Oh, so my huge. type of afternoon. <laughs> oh, mate. I've been really excited to bust these out for you guys. Yes. Uh, huge shouts to Mike from Ben Hill uh, up in Braintree, Vermont. Cool name. Beautiful brewery on the top of a mountain looking over the, the range uh, out there. It's beautiful and green. Nice. Cute three dogs out here, just and a, and a cat. I love dogs. Man's is just out here, woof woof. You know what I mean? So sick. One of the coolest dudes and one of the most um, uh, innovative like breweries out in Vermont. I love the nice. stuff that he's doing. He's doing weird ass shit. Cool. And that excites just, me. He just likes fun and beer. He's yeah. also team lactose. You know that makes That's me very really happy as well because Mike is a G. So we did a podcast a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Man's blessed us with the with the tingers. Um, he actually laced us with a couple of growlers of the other beers, but they would have had to murk them. Right. And they would have been long gone. They would have lasted two, three days. For sure. Um, but these are... Pff, man, they're so fire. So we have five beers from uh, Bend Hill. Have you ever had a Bend Hill beer? I, oh, I did. had the beetroot beer. Yes. That's the only one. That, I believe that's the only one you had. Uh, I loved it. I love beetroot. Uh, for all of you who don't speak Australian, um, <laughs> just beets. Just beets. Oh, beets. Sorry. Red beets. beets little, beets, yeah. Beets, beetroot. Well, it's a root, isn't it? Yeah, essentially, it is. I'm just saying. Well, one of these beers actually was in the last lot, so you get to try this when I've they brought it back. Seen this before? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have had this. And they changed the I hop. had this here I was with say you. We had yeah, it. yeah, this one and the beer root one. That's right. And they had that. They changed the hop. So basically, we got five beers. First, which I couldn't believe, I like the uh, pickle kisser, uh, wow. pickle sour. Wow. wow, so good. I am excited about it's that. Actually, dill, not pickle. I'm team Thank pickle. God. You're team no pickle. Team right? no pickle okay. ever in your life. Um, <laughs> this is a weird one called Curiosities it's an ale aged on coconut and raspberries and I got a feeling with sour too by the way the Super art on these are like yeah. so amazing good. yeah right? they're so good better everyday IPA this was actually um, brewed for uh, 100% of the profits uh, for the initial batch went to the someone one of their friends passed okay. and they uh, to a, um, a high school uh, not a charity but they started a foundation type nice. of thing um, for that and now I think they give not all of the profits but a fraction of it and they keep changing the hops but it's not like a separate thing no, this Super is amazing cool. Blood Orange Imperial IPA wow look at that that is exciting you've had this have you had all these yeah okay you're um, a better man than I well uh, you know man's had to do his research Eight, we drank him during the podcast 8.2% that's exciting and the last guy Smoked Sea Salt Caramel Coconut Porter Ooh. Man's losing their voice as. Uh, yeah. I know which one Rochelle's uh, trying. Uh, Ew, pickle well, beer. Yeah. I feel like I need a pickle garnish or something. To I think you should shut up. I think I think you should shut up real quick. I didn't say you had to have one. Oh, that's, one fair, one. that's fair. That's fair. Richard, so it doesn't smell that pickly. Nah, because it's dill, not uh, actual pickle. You know what I mean? Nah. Shows All right. you can have some of mine. Oh. I'm going to put it in your face, Shelsey. Don't you worry about that. All right, mm -hmm. so this is a uh, dry hop sour with lemons, fresh dill, and rhubarb. Dry hop with sriracha ace and mosaic. Stupid. So, I already like it. I haven't even tried it. Look at it, and look at these glassware, mate. What a beauty glassware. Get bent, am I right? Mm -hmm. hey. So in Australia, we used to say bent means getting high, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, bent, you didn't say get bent. I'm getting bent tonight, but I was bent yeah, as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like in the I 90s. Get, I thought get bent is like go F yourself. Yeah. 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 Why, yeah. why are you censoring yeah. well, yourself? We're, we're not get bent, but we say get bent and getting like actually get, like lit up. Get but no one uses that no more. It's probably like 90s yeah, so, yeah. slang, yeah? I feel like, yeah, it's like a like something a middle-aged nice. white man would say to another okay. middle-aged <laughs> white man. They're like, hey, go get bent, bro. <laughs> Frick go off, George. Frick off, John. Frick off. Get off my lawn, Fred. Oh. What the frick, Mom? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cheers, get in here. I love what the frick, Mom. So good. Interesting. So, it's definitely lemon <laughs> forward. <laughs> That's um, why you like it. It's not overly dilly. Pickly. No. But I get the dill. Get, it's there. It's, the it's dill, like... Right? But do you know what? The thing is, I hate pickles, but I love cucumber beers, and I believe the cucumber beers, technically, like gozes and whatever, mm. have... A pickly, this is nice. Fermented cucumber, which is a pickle. Right, and when you're fermenting the cucumber juice <laughs> oh, yeah. in the thing, right, it gives it that pickle vibe. Yes. 
Um, now the lemon is definitely forward. Yes. The rhubarb here is. Um, That's the sourness. You're getting the sourness from like that uh, fresh. The bitterness actually. I, what's the sourness from? Just the from the sour the souring stuff process. Or whatever. Yeah. And then there's also the, the lemon. Oh, and the from the lemon. Stuff. And from the lemon, and then also the fruitiness what's from the. Sourness the, from? the souring. You know the souring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sour and the, you know the stuff. Science. Uh, science. The science. Thanks, Steph. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it's pretty damn solid. This is a really really solid beer. Um, what's the ABV on that? Six. Six really? Wow. Which is actually quite large for a dry hop sour. Normally, dry hop sours do what between four and yeah, like, I felt like five. Maybe if that's a I mean, dry maybe hop sour. Actually, jelly hold up. What's five Jelly King? Six. What's Jelly King? Jelly King's five point six. Five, five six. Yeah. I mean, yeah, usually between. I feel four like and you six. don't need a high ABV for the style, but mm. this is a uh, like six is surprising to me. I thought this was yeah. more like four and a half four or something. Half. Solid day, yeah. It's cool. That's I like cool. it. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. And being a pickle fan, is it uh, pickly enough it's for you? Not, you know what? I could go pickly or... Uh, uh, yeah, it's lighting the picks. Lighten you the like picks. put a little pickle brine in there and just boost it up a little bit? Has anyone ever done that? Have you seen that? I would do it. I use pickle brine in my Caesars. Yes. Game changer. You want to yes. make the best Caesar of your life? A, don't use vodka, tequila, or whiskey in yes. your Caesars all day. Yes. Sorry, I'm just Add some pickle brine. <laughs> <laughs> like a fancy yes. garnish with like olives yes. and like maybe throw some mushrooms and tomatoes on there. <laughs> tomatoes I'm cool with, but the mushrooms. And throw those onions. Mess with onions. Onions. Yeah. Green beans. Pickled green beans. How about some mescal? You can do some mescal in a Caesar. That'd be amazing. Yeah, you guys are all fucked. Anyways. Or put some cooked shrimps too. Cooked shrimps? Shrimp? 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 100%. Calm oh, down, God. Stephanie. Stephanie, can you make me a Caesar, like, right now? <laughs> Caesar's and other shit. Yeah. Maybe we can do a side podcast. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. That's Junior you make... Rapping. Caesar. Caesar. Well, it's Lil C's from uh, Junior Mafia. Been around from time Junior to Mafia. Do you know what I learned from a podcast the other day? Akon has four wives. What the He's hell? He's a polygamist. Gangsta. Get that up, yeah. He's what, man. what rapper doesn't have four wives? Is not no, good. rappers have a, a, a wife, oh, a okay. girlfriend, a mistress, a side chick, a jump off, like a next all thing, that. a side piece. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, man actually has four wives. Listen, shout out to gym, Drink Tramps. It was actually very wives. interesting. And Noah Yeager was like, How do you pull that off? He's like, Bro, you're going to pull that shit off. You're just mm. like, I know it's a completely irrelevant thing, but no, it's fairly relevant. It's popped into my head. Yeah, nice. Fun facts, BOS facts for y'all. I don't know if anyone even cares. Get that in, yeah. That's the other shit. Yeah. Beer yeah, sometimes shit. we do. Some Rochelle's always pushing time. for the other shit. She's like, you guys do a lot of beer, but you should probably the other shit? involve ram a little other shit in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> ram some other shit in there. Good point, Rich. Let's ram some other shit in there. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll start always. doing it every now and then if we think of a fun fact. Do you like Caesars? No, it's Absolutely disgusting. Not. Really? Okay. Disgusting. Caesar is like the the hangover drink. It is. Yeah. Caesar it's is the, the Diana Fire drink. <laughs> okay. I had four in my life and they're all horrible. You know you, you know you're <laughs> making a lot of promises right? over there, Stephanie. I don't see any uh, action going on <laughs> over here. Uh, you you gave me a nice one. I want yeah. shrimps. I want I want cooked shrimps. I want, I want every all of that. Um, all of curiosities. So oh this is God. a um, is this does this smell sour? Table. Yeah, slightly. Oh, and this is so. Isn't it just such a weird smell? <sighs> it smells lovely to me. But like weird, lovely. It is weird. So this is uh, what percent is it? Okay, let's see. Is there oh, Brett in that? Four percent. Is there Brett? Um, no, <laughs> not that I'm aware of. This is ale aged on coconut and raspberries. Um, I can't remember if it's sour or not, but just such a strange combination. Just saying, coconut like we had and the, raspberry. We had the raspberry before. I think raspberry goes in any sour beer. Should be across the board. Doesn't matter what the style. Just put raspberries in it. Berliner Weiss. Just put raspberry in it. It's, it goes so Stouts. Well. Stouts like, even, right? IPAs. I haven't had many IPAs with raspberries, I must say. I almost Not think it's, it's a fairly strong flavor. It may take away from the hot profile in an IPA. Potentially. It might, like, but like off, any off sour style, like, I think it's, just, it's perfect. But coconut, I've never really had a, I don't think I've had a coconut raspberry before. No, and particularly a lighter style. Coconut yeah. generally goes like in right. the, the darker beers right. and stuff. And so there's nothing left to, to do find it. Out. Then, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah, it's sour. It's crazy, right? Great. Super, like... Whoa. It's almost like it's chocolatey, but there's no chocolate. Yeah, in it, right. It's, I feel it like you just you put a little uh, it, piece of chocolate on the back yeah. of the time, like it melts on the back. Of your, that's cool. It's like it's toasted cool. coconut, hand toasted. Man oh, does it all himself on this tiny not, little system, not. like and roast it at home type of thing. That's cool. Really nice. I was so so impressed. He's such a good yes. guy. Um, I love it. Innovative. I've location. always said I love innovative breweries. Try new styles. Add new adjuncts. Whatever fruit. Like yeah. just Isn't it more fun? It's fun. Just try it. Have some fun with that. Yeah, absolutely. And just because like. 
I don't know. It's always like, you know what it's like when we go and we do a podcast and we sit down because we get to sit down with people for three to five hours. Yeah. We really kind of get like a, a very quick bond with them. Yeah. Which is just part of the way that our content is. Yeah. So like it makes you like them even more. Like absolutely the, you like the person and you like the, the place and, and then you like, hear the story yeah. and then you're in the place where it's made and you're like, and you're, and you're this, like is amazing. this is amazing exactly. yeah and it's like i don't know maybe people think we're being overly positive all the time i right? haven't been here and these guys are you're right oh you like fantastic. honestly next time we go to vermont we'll go here anyway because yeah. he's such a g i feel and like such i don't a beautiful vermont place. enough no right. definitely don't we should Let's go on the fall anyway. we should do like fall. a like a maple leaf peeper trip yeah yo a leaf peeper so we just got back from colorado and we learned leaf peepers the term leaf peeper and it sounds so Canadian. Like, as I say, 14 years. Oh, yeah, it's peep, leaf yo, peeper, eh? Yo, leaf peeper, eh? Yeah. Yo, that leaves on people. Oh, look where leaves, eh? Bring my binoculars up to the forest, look at some leaves. Oh. Hey, George, there's a leaf. That's a cute squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, provoked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, is Curiosity, is this, is this a line of beers? Are they going to do different kind of weird? It feels like smash? it is. That's, yeah. I think the way that um, Mike said he works, he doesn't even consider what's happening next. Because he doesn't have any like core beers that. at all. He just does what he wants when he wants. See, that's so, thinking outside of the box. Everyone has their like big three or four that they're always producing, but yeah. this is just like fly by the seat of your pants. Now we're yeah. making this. Oh, this is gone. We'll bring it back in a couple of years. Or... So he, he makes it every day, better every right. day IPA, which is next. He makes that four or five times With a year. With new varietals every time. New hops every time, but I checked it untapped, and they don't even, he doesn't even talk kind of like Skadoosh from uh, Alchemist. Yes. Where they put, there are var- variances in. Um, uh, on top of variants mm-hmm. uh, but he doesn't recognize that because I was going to re-review it from when the one I had was whatever a year ago or something um, and, uh, but then you know I've had the Blood Orange Imperial before and that was about the same time so he's brought that back so he does kind of people keep asking oh are you doing this are you doing this because maybe he'll have too many IPAs on or something he said he was right. like, or he's into the stouts so maybe he said one time he had like a ton of stouts on and stuff and people were Wanting something different. Low battery on that guy. Yeah, I just noticed that. The battery, I think we should be good to see this. Okay. Bust out that better every day. Do this. So this is a five point something percent. Um, really solid IPA. All haze. Mike is so into the haze. That's why we fuck with Ben Hill so hard. Holy. That's uh, some five alivas. Five alivas. Can we keep it down over there, gallery? Right? Yeah. <laughs> what? Gallery? <laughs> drop gallery? Drop that media volume Peanut down. Peanut gallery. Okay, Rich. Wow, that, that is Tikas. Right? <laughs> wow. Uh, so, man's got enough of the uh, yeast. Holy. Oh. Hmm. Um, this is so bad. <laughs> this is uh, 5.8%. Did it move, yeah. Rich? Did it move? Oh. Look at that. <laughs> that, my friends, is murky. Up. That wow. is murky. That's not hazy. That's murky. Hashtag murky. Look at that. Look at that. Shasta Stormzy. Mm. All right, well, cheers. Get yeah, bent. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. Yummy. Um, super tropical. It's got a nice yeasty bite to it. Okay. I actually asked him when we drank it. I was like, oh, is this like green? And still he's like, nah, it's drinking good. Nice. So this is how it was intended to be. I, I find the yeast bite is quite pronounced. Yeah, man, this is like crazy. Isn't that Tigas? It's just so it's good. Lovely. It's great. Creamy. Um, I forgot. He told me there's like four hops in this one. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really mention Cur-hazy. which one. Cur hazy. So he said. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Richard is a funny man. Um, Citra, Centennial, Wakatu, and Mosaic. So I don't know if that's this version or that's the OG. You have to watch the podcast. If I, I can't remember what episode it was. It says. Uh, Better Every Day IPA is a lush, crisp IPA made with an absurd amount of citrus, Centennial, Wakatu, and Mosaic. Nice, absurd amount. I like absurd amounts. I do too. Yeah, right? Why why have absurd amounts? It has to be absurd. I I love that. It looks like I'm playing an NES game when I look at the camera. Yeah, right? Isn't that crazy? It's like like Mario. Yeah. Yeah, Only 8-bit thing. Do you say Mario or Mario? Mario. What I used to say? like stopping friends with people who said Mario. I'm like, mm, Mario? it's Mario. Yeah. It's Mario. There's like no bitterness there. Like it is just there's a yeasty tr- bite, right? And it's just tropical. tropical, fruity, like and creamy and smooth. It is very true yeah. to style. Yeah. fantastic. And I feel like this beer got hazier as it went. When Would I, you call this a Northeast IPA? Oh <laughs> yeah, well, this is more than a Vermont IPA, man. This is a per- like this is a true Look to style it. Northeast IPA. Oh yeah, totally. Um, just packed full of hops. Old Probably late all or just late old edition, dry hops. Either late edition or just oh, yeah, 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 flame flame out, dry hop. Yeah. Um, which is super sick. 
And he's making, you should see the brewery. He's tiny and he's busting out all this stuff, man. He's like it. five days a week brewing and stuff. Trying Do to they keep bottle up. or they just have the just can. uh, cans? Yeah. So they can and they uh, destroy kegs. So Blood Orange Imperial IP Izzle. Yep. 8.2%. There's like hand. a hand squeezing a blood orange into the... Uh... You can't really see that. Yeah, you can see it. There yeah. you go. Yo, yo, yo. So, uh, um, yes. So hand uh, zested blood oranges. Hand so just to, just to spe- like specify, it's not... I think it's got the zest. It's not, not the actual not... juice? Yeah, it's not. I, so there's I, not like a red color to no, it. No, when I first okay. tried, it, I was like, "What's up with this? Why is this?" But it's not. A little bit like, deceptive, as there's a hand squeezing juice. Yeah, but so th- there might be a little bit, but it's not enough to change the color. Cool. Um, yeah, this is another so, one of the, uh, and it's got Cascade Mosaic and Belma hops, and it's a flavor and aroma of dank orange, floral, and deep earthy tones. Yummy. Eight point two percent. Wow, hazy AF. All I'm saying is, get inside of you. Cheers, and then yeah. Oh, mate. What a beaut. Ooh. Another yeasty bite right there. Incredible. Um, Tangy. You mess with that? Yeah. Beautiful bitterness. Yep. That's um, lovely to deal with that. Yeah, man. I like that they use the zest. Ooh. It kind of doesn't take away from the hot profile. I think if you pour a no, bunch no. of juice in there, it would have been like... It comes a bit different. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's such an interesting beer. It's absolutely not what one would expect. Uh, if you read the Tingas and it says that it's... Uh, you know, blood orange yeast. But I remember when I first cracked this, I'm like, what? what? I was the... expecting it to be like red, like one of the raspberry beers we have. But yeah. I'm like, no, it's, it's a well-made IPA with some zest, a citrus zest in it. It's really nice. It's very, very cool, man. I love what he's doing. Oh, do More you, on kind of the, um, the hot burps right now? A little bit. Are they tasty? Oh, they're the best. They're your favorite. If I had hot burps all the time, I'd be so happy, man. <laughs> I just want to drink beer all the time. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be sober. Sometimes. I uh, hear it now. Yeah. Is what it is. I, I just really like what he's doing. Is definitely like you asked before, like mentioned before, like it's you know as opposed to the Vermont style, uh, maybe Alchemist, uh, uh, you know, beers and uh, IPAs and such. This is definitely the Northeast, you know, Massachusetts, like New England, whatever yeah. style stuff. Um, a just, little more bitter though. Like it, there's a so that could be from the citrus. Yeah, you know? uh, it could be from the zest. Yeah, but I feel like there's that that same profile, the soft creaminess, the light kind of like the, you know the tropical hop. But there's still that bite. And uh, the bitter bite you'd get from like a uh, um, Vermont style IPA. It's kind of yeah, like yeah. a mix like of both, right? Bite. Yeah, it could be the type of yeast he's using as yeah. well. Um, it's just just really cool. Like he said, it's very innovative. The whole like range of stuff that he's doing is just super interesting. There's no boring ass beers on on uh, on his list. Like you know, like some some places will always do the standard. They'll have right. a, a blonde, not even a lager or a pill, like a blonde and an amber and a yeah. porter and a English yeah. IPA, blah, blah, Like, man, doesn't do anything like that. It's all interesting beers. It's like he's always switching it up. Like, that's yeah. That's cool to me. You're like... Uh, he needs to be... As a, as an artist, think about it. Like, right. brewing is an art. Absolutely. And the brewers need to be, uh, you know, satisfied creatively mm-hmm. with what they're doing. And if he had to make the same over and over, and over again, over, it's like, oh... You know, and people don't come there. And, you know, yeah. when, while we were there, we were there for, what, three, four, five hours, as usual. Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, we had to, if we didn't have to go, we wouldn't have dipped out. Right. Um, but the people that were coming through there, most of them were older folks. Nice. So he's getting... That's good uh, to see. Yeah, they'll come through because he actually has a, a tasting room, so he can't pour... He has to have... Um, Sample size portions. Yeah, he can only give uh, sell those ones and right. in the tasting room there, um, which is some strange laws, you know how it go. But at least, uh, you know, but this, like, I, feel, I feel like it was really cool because he said there's one lady who was like, hey, Carol, how you doing? It was, I thought it was funny because it was Carol. <laughs> and she came in, she had like three or four gr- empty growlers. They come in, they clean her growlers and they fill her up every nice. week. And she said she's been there every single... Th- it was a Thursday. Every single Thursday for like four years since That's they opened. Amazing. And he's like, there was a couple of times that she didn't come through, and they're like, "Oh, is she okay? Yeah, yeah. what's up with Carol?" Yeah. But he said it's a very loyal fan base, and they're near a town called Randall. So it's called Brain Trees, the top of a mountain, no service, uh, beautiful farm with, like I said, with views. And they had humming. First time I ever seen a hummingbird. I uh, know. Have you seen? We've been all the time. Oh, I'm from Australia. Oh, uh, we don't have that. Stuff. Cottage country. Yeah, man's don't do that thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing it a lot lately. We saw them in Colorado too, but. They had, uh, it was just so gorgeous and sunflowers and stuff. And the first time I ever seen those sunflowers was at Food Uni. And man's had it right behind us. I know, dude, I'm just telling you. Like, it's, uh, we grew up in the city. In the I suburbs. guess it's like, it's like me coming to Australia and be like, oh my God, Never a kangaroo. Them. And you're like, like Ugh. I used to ride one when I was a kid. I had a pet <laughs> kangaroo when I was a kid. I was born in Yeah. One. Yeah. Uh, it's like pathetic. dingoes and wallabies everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Who are you? Oh my wow. God. 
three foot long spider. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, here we go. Just like, <laughs> idiot. Die, spider. Anyway, you're like, yeah, it was just super cool, man. Um, and so they have another uh, town there. So I think people come up from the town to kind of, uh, um, you know, fill, they, they distro down like there. I feel like it's like a, is, is this like a Hill Farmstead feel type thing? Like, uh, I haven't, kind of without, up in the mountain. We haven't been to Hill Farmstead. No. But. So from what I've seen and stuff, yes. Um, and you pull up there's a house at the front I'm like is this the right place <laughs> and there's a the Ben Hill sign I'm like what well, has to be this dog gorgeous dog you know what I'm talking like a golden retriever or a lab or something like that yeah man's just like running up to the car running alongside I'm man's so meaning the dog oh man, man's Sorry. the dog <laughs> yeah. dogs, dogs. Were like <laughs> dogs dem running up to the <laughs> yo the dog canines dem running up to the yeah. car and I was just worried I was going to hit the little guy and he yeah. jumped in the car when we pulled no. up. No! Tiff opened the door and he like jumped oh, in so the car. Cute. Oh, it was so Let's cute. Let's go! <laughs> Three dog guys. Oh, I'm going to put the picture of the dog. Yeah, he's so I cute. I forgot his so name. Cute. Oh, yeah, that you, uh, I saw you post on the stories yeah. about the lady. He's, he's a handsome looking dog. Yeah, so Very good. Yeah. Great, 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 great dogs. Boy. Yeah. And they, uh... That's you know, a good boy. That's a good boy. I wish we had a dog Why do people right talk like that to dogs? Because I guess they're a good boy. Because they're just yeah. cute. They're like, just good boys. Yeah, they're just good boys. Yeah. And girls. Oh. Uh, what a good life living up in the yeah. mountains in Vermont at a brewery. <laughs> like, that's the dog's with, dream right with, there. It was just such a cool experience. Like, next time we go 100%, like, we have to go. Just so cool. Like just like to say it's been too long just since I've been to Vermont. Like, oh man, we need to do it. Vermont is like my favorite four season state. I want to go back. Dead us. Whenever you guys want to go, holler and we can talk to Giles and stay with him. It's like, where is it? Hour and a half. There? Uh, south. That way. That way. Yeah. Hour and a half, bro. We've been so much the lately. The food I'm is like... good. The hospitality is good. The beer is good. The beer is good. The air is good. The, the water is good. good. The yeah. air is good. The wine is good. The cheese is good. The beer is good. The dogs are good. I love The mountains dogs. are good. The yeah. dogs are good. The dogs is good. The haze is good. The haze is good. beers is good. Maple syrup. Speaking good. of good yeah. beer. Well, okay, tell us about this one. It's got to be a cold beer. Yo, <laughs> this is kind of exciting. This is a smoked sea salt caramel coconut porter. Mm. Smoked good. Sea salt good. Caramel good. Coconut good. Porter. These are five good things. Yeah. I'm hoping they symbiotically mix. And, Do you uh, recall? Super good thing. You know, I kept one of the last coconut porters, like the OG coconut porters from the last batch. I had one left in the fridge. Because I didn't want to. I told from Ben Hill? Yeah, but not oh. this one. This is a smoked sea salt caramel coconut. Oh. I just have a coconut porter. From Ben Hill. From Ben Hill. Should we? I mean, should we? Before this one? I don't mind busting. I told you to say with. I don't know. Or... That's a cool sci-fi. Random side versus. It's in the um. It's in the door. Has. Should we do this first or second? What's the ABV? Uh, doesn't say. What's this one? I hate that. I feel like okay. <laughs> relax. Well, I feel like say. you got to start with this and go to that. All right. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's start with this one. So this is a bonus. We actually did this in the last one, but how is, old is that? One year? About one a year. year old? And I told him, I said, "Yo, I kept it because I was so excited. I love this bit. Oh shit, I loved mm. it so much. I was like, man, need to yeah, I'm not still." Rich, would you like some beverage? No. no. <laughs> wow, what a fucking thirst bucket. <laughs> oh, Listen, oh, man's oh, thirsty. Oh. My job is to keep your thirst satiated, Rich. <sighs> It's an expensive job. Oh shit! Someone's gonna have to can you just distribute that a bit better. Distribute, distribute, distribute. So we're gonna slide that in here. Coconut porter. Yeah. So coconut beer. Yeah. Coconut import. Like honestly, this was one of my favorite beers, and the reason I kept this was, was like it was Smell that. so good, man. Smell it. Mm. So I don't know the ABV. We'd have to probably log in. Like Wouldn't say it? tap the. T- no, I didn't say. Maybe he didn't put it on there before because this one actually says eight point four. No um, date code one, or anything. I got a fit. Nah, it doesn't do date okay, code. We'll figure it out. Oh, it held up so Smells well. So good. Oh, I'm glad that we get to bust this out. Cheers, yeah, guys. Yeah, cheers, bro. Fire! Oh. oh my god, it's so good. Coconut porter is one of my favorite beers of all time. That. Yo, a the year carb later, is fire on that. Like it's, it's perfectly so good. Still sharp. Yeah, man. I yeah, think this true. is um, yeah. this is why. I, do you like that stuff? Fire, eh? Mm. Baby, you want to try that or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah seriously, do it. Mm. Yeah, like the fact that something like this beer, particularly a flavor like coconut that's toasted and, and somewhat... Still, it's still there. It didn't fall out at all. Not at all. And and you know what's going to be great to do this side by side with the um, with the smoked one, right? Um, yeah, man. Like I told Mike during the podcast, I'm like, man, I held, when, when he busts this one out, I was like, I held on to a the last one of the coconut porter because I knew it would last the test Did that time. excite him? Was he like... Um, he's a pretty chill dude. Oh, okay. I don't think he's he gave like, a yeah, fuck. Cool, man. But like, uh, he's like, oh, okay, sick, sick, sick. <laughs> but like, like, I just, I, I was thinking about it, it the other day. It tastes fresh for some reason. I don't get it. It tastes fresh. Doesn't it? It's yeah, like it a year old. Right. 
bright. It tastes bright Fresh and, the, and shot, like you, you know what? There's yeah. something about the water too. I don't know. It must be the Vermont water, but like, there's some beers where I'm like, the water tastes really good in this beer. That's what Ooh. I get from this. I don't know what the profile is, but it's like crisp, clean, oh, cold, yeah. and like, but and this is still quite coconut. nippy, right? I reckon so, yeah. once again, this will this will air up a when little it bit warms when it's up, warms yeah. and we don't really have time for that. But like, sorry to cut you off. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. You're so right because Vermont Giles always says a shout to Giles. There's a he calls it a water table. Um, and there's like a uh, oh, like a filtration system almost through the rocks. But in it? Absolutely, right. but like, I guess where they get their own water. So like breweries like Lawson's and Hill Farmstead and all the, all the main Vermont stuff get from the same water uh, area. And I'm not sure if it's the uh, Burlington area or like I'm not sure if Foam and stuff right. get it. But I know like because uh, Lawson's are opening up in um, Waterbury. Shout out to Justin. Justin from Farmhouse yes. actually is working for the Lawson's. Who served now. me my favorite beer of all time. He worked for Lawson's. Lawson's nice. now, yeah. Uh, he's the man, Justin. Shout out to Double Galaxy. Hell, um, hell yeah. So, like, I, I really think that they're getting that fresh, crisp mountain mm. water, which now I'm seeing a consistency between Vermont and Colorado with that yeah. stuff, which is why those beers from those particular regions are so ex- exceptional because they don't even really have to treat it. It's fresh, crisp, or not glacial, but like just mountain Taste water. glacial. And they, they, they actually affects their water levels if they don't get enough snow and stuff. And I know Vermont right. gets enough of that, but Colorado a little bit less. Um, just very, very cool to see what this sort of thing does particularly and also with an adjunct like toasted coconut hand or or like I guess hand toast is not really the right word but he, literally in a consumer oven yeah right like, you know pounds and pounds like hundreds of pounds of coconut and the fact that this lasted around a year I got a feeling Crazy. it was cold last year when I picked it up huh. so at Rob shouts to Rob he's the I man it. yeah and it's just like because I like this beer so much I was like I have to keep one of these for later and I just what a, what a great time to bust it up right it's perfect because the, the whole squad gets to drink yeah. it we're doing a Ben Hill yeah. email I really want to give them the props that they get because I'm just like Tiff and I had such a good experience there and yeah. we want to take the whole crew down there so the last one is an 8.4% can you read that out again Scotty smoked yeah. smoked, sea, smoked salt, sea salt caramel, caramel coconut, coconut porter, porter. So, so these this are is all a, things that excite me so yeah. I'd love to see yeah. how it works yeah. together yeah, so this is the latest version. This is probably only a couple of weeks old at best. I think this is Do we have any info on here about AB 8.4? 8. 8. We don't have that? the ABV on there. And what's this one say? Uh, okay, so uh, made using locally smoked sea salt and brewery-made caramel and maple taffy. Ooh. Organic roasted coconut is added during the conditioning to add a wonderful finish and to complement the malts. Mm. Well done, Mike. I like the way you read. Yeah, like, like a third grader. Yeah. Hey, we all are. Who, who likes reading out loud? It's uh-huh. Trash. All right. Get in here. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh, so okay. different, so different, nice. very different. Now, Terrible. two different things. One, the it's caramel. Warm. And, right, it's a lot warmer than the other. That one, one. came right yeah, out of the fridge. That was chilly. Uh, two. The caramel, the caramel taffy. Taffy. maple yeah. taffy. Oh my Woo. god, Vermont is just the best. That's fire. Heads, notice these glasses are both different. Look, that one's got the circle one, that one's got this thing. Okay, I they see you. Oh, get those get right. I like Sick. it. I like it. Um, wow, that's yummy. So creamy. You cannot taste it as 8.4%. Like it. That's scary. That's the best mm. one. <laughs> it tastes like 5.4%. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. What is the percentage? 8.4. Yeah. Now, the coconut, the first one. Probably around five or six mark, I would say, because it's a porter. Like generally, porters don't get too boozy because then they become a stout. The smoked sea salt is very mild, but wow. it's there. The it's very. It's a little it's, smoky. It's, it's caramel taffy maple first, and then there's like the, those other smoky flavors on the back. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. That's yummy. Legit. Creamy, that's... good, cre- nice cream to it. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. fantastic. Um, so you look once again, Bent Hill, one of my favorite breweries in Vermont. Huge shouts to Mike crazy. and the team out there. Um, actually, two mics. There was two mics who worked there with G, Mike the owner, Mike the bartender, and Chip. Oi, Chip. Delivery. So, uh, guys, get down there. Braintree, Vermont. You can get most of the bees in and around Vermont. I think you probably was can't get this anymore. But... That one, not right now. No. Nope. Uh, most of the rest of them, you should be able to get. Uh, we can leave it there. <laughs> uh, most of the rest of them, you should be able to get at least right now. And if not, he'll bring them. Likely, he'll bring them back at some point. But the idea is to go to the brewery. You know, go to the liquor store, pick up the beer, and just you know, I'll see what see what they've got available. Because yeah. I've never had a bad beer. The beet beer I told him actually was weird, bro. Like, wasn't for me at all. But it's objectively not bad. It's just if you, I don't like. I beets. liked it. I was into you it. You liked it. I liked it. I like yeah. weird stuff though. No, we pickled 
beetroot beer that's up my alley the weirder the better yeah. um guys so that's it if you enjoyed the episode mate boom smash the thumbs up hit subscribe below hit the notification bell <laughs> just so you know when the new new drops follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast and check out the long form audio Spotify hit follow there Apple Podcast rate review subscribe uh, that's it y'all thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video and as always get it in ya yeah.